Hey guys, how's it going? Just got to the Howard Beach House. Wanna give you guys a little tour. This project was insane. It took forever to get done. We had a ton of problems, but we're done now. And we actually have an accepted offer, but I wanna show you guys, I wanna show you guys what's going on in here. The good thing about this property is there's a great return, big numbers, but also when you have bigger numbers and a bigger, higher sales price, it takes longer to sell. We also have some contractor issues. We have to fire the contractor. He had some issues, which is okay, but that happens. We got a new guy in here, he finished it up quickly. And now here we are, we're getting offers, really strong offers. So we started around, we bought the property for 40. I closed on it about a year ago. So the property took a very, very long time, but that's part of the business. You just kind of have to roll with the punches. So we had that, you have the closing costs, you have interest you have to pay, um, you have points at closing. So you have all that expense, you have holding costs, and then you have the construction. So we probably spent about $130,000, $140,000, and now we're getting offers between $800,000 and $900,000. So let's go take a look. Right here is the downstairs unit. In this unit, we have two bedrooms and one full bathroom. Here's a full bathroom over here, fully get run, fully got renovated. We got all of the materials from Tile Bar Manhattan. Really beautiful stuff. Over here, we have the kitchen, dining, and living room area. It's a big open concept. We open the space up, gutted the entire thing. Quartz countertops, glass backsplash, beautiful cabinets going up to the ceiling, solid hardwood, self closing with, we have the um, brushed nickel hardware on there. So here we have a sliding door that goes out to the outside, beautiful patio that we put in. And everything in this property was replaced. We're talking sheetrock, insulation, uh, central air conditioning, tile floors, new doors, new molding, new windows, you name it, we replaced it. This is the second bedroom of the downstairs unit. And because it's set up as a two unit um, house, the owner's gonna live upstairs and this is probably gonna be for the tent. So let's go take a look upstairs. So as you can see, everything's been done, beautifully painted, beautiful hardware on the doors. They really did a great job of it. And as I mentioned, everything has been replaced. So as you can see, the utility room is Here's the utility room. Everything's been done, like I said. So we have brand new heat, air, and water heater, updated the electric and all the plumbing. So let's go take a look upstairs. This is the owner's unit. So in the owner's unit, you have solid hardwood floors, another beautiful open kitchen, in this room, we opened it up. There was a huge wall right here blocking off the kitchen, so we opened up the space. We did all the sheet rock and insulation, just like downstairs. Put in the beautiful granite, glass backsplash. We put in this beautiful stainless steel farm sink, which I love. I usually don't do that, but it was a nice little touch. And all new appliances. So we usually go with like one step up from like a good level of Samsung. So it's like it's high end. It's not super high end like Wolf, but we go with Samsung because that's what people want and it's, uh, it's not too expensive. So here we open this space up as well. Beautiful living room. And the dining room, it's just one big open layout. As you can see, all new windows. Tons of light coming in, which is great. And uh, we just have a few shades up just to kind of regulate the temperature. We have to put a new um, attic door in. This is the master. So this is where the magic happens. Beautiful, large closet over here, and just a great space. As you can see, we put on the high hat lighting in. And this is where we make some, some significant changes. Right here in this shower, this shower used to be part of the bedroom next door. So there was a wall here, and this was actually that bedroom's closet. So we opened up the space, we put a new drain in, ran water, ran new plumbing, and now turn this half bathroom into a full bathroom, which substantially increases the value. Something that I really recommend is, you know, kitchens and bathrooms sell homes when you do the renovation, but if you can increase either square footage or increase the amount of bathrooms or the size of bathrooms, that significantly, significantly increases the value as well. So we have a beautiful hall closet here, and next to that we have another full bathroom. And this is what I was talking about. So because we lost that closet for the shower next door, we had to bump out a closet into this bedroom. So it works because it's a good square shape. And now this bedroom has a closet and the master has a full bathroom, which is incredible. Over here is the third of the 
three bedrooms upstairs. It's actually the smallest, but it could be a good nursery or an office. I think it's a pretty good space, nice size closet, tons of storage, which is great as well. So that is the tour of Howard Beach. Um, thank you for coming on this tour. Thank you for joining my vlog and joining me on this journey. I'll show you guys more of the process. Like I said, we have a couple offers on it. It's going well. We're just trying to, you know, weed through it. We have a couple of attorney issues, but we're getting through it. So stay tuned and I'll show you more.